Hey guys, it's Survival Guy here of CleverSurvivalist.com. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use a compass. Alright, this compass right here is the one that I was discussing whenever I was talking about finding north without a compass. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the parts of the compass and how to use it whenever you're mapping so that you can get from your point A, which is where your home is, and point B, where your bug out location is. Alright guys, so here in Memphis, we're uh, going to say that our location is on this road right here, which is Egypt Central. Alright, and that is in North Memphis. And our bug lot location that we're trying to get to is going to be over here. Alright, over uh, just off of Twin Oaks Drive, out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, we're trying to get to a bug out location that is, uh, you know, not, not an insane distance away. But this will allow me to show you guys how you're going to use your compass to get from point A to point B. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we need to do uh, while we're doing this map is we need to make true north the same as magnetic north for us. Alright, um, what this will do is it will compensate for uh, the degree offset between true north and magnetic north. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up our compass. Now if you can see, we have lines here that will show us how to line everything up. So if we use this to line this up, then we will adjust our map so that our compass is pointing in the same direction as the lines. Alright, and that right there now our map the true north of our map is aligned with magnetic north of our compass so without moving the map at all we can now go from point A to point B alright bring in a bookmark. It's good to have a bookmark or to have a, um, a ruler that you can fold up and throw in your bug out bag. Um, I know I didn't put that in the bug out bag list, but uh, just something that I thought about whenever I was thinking about this video that you should put in your bug out bag. And so I would like, I'm probably going to add that to the uh, current. Um, to the current blog post about bug out bags and uh, so what we're going to do is we kind of want to get an idea of our route of travel so first thing we're going to do is we've got this location here all right off of this road here all right and this road is egypt central road and we're going to basically going to take that down to this road here and then we'll bring that up all right, to Kerwin Drive, and then we're going to take um, Addington Drive, and we'll take that up, Raleigh Millington, and then over New Allen Road, and go up Raleigh Millington to this point here. Now we're in the clear. If we were to do any wilderness travel, that would be possible. So what we're going to do is start from this point to our bug out location. All right. So let's go ahead and draw a line from point A to point B, right there. <clears throat> and then we will put our, this is our direction arrow. That is going to point on the line. You have this, and then you have the line down here that will line that up. <clears throat> so from that, we will point in the north on our compass to where the needle is pointing. So we will move this. Now, the needle is pointing to the north on our compass, all right? You will have this map in your pack or in your pocket the whole time that you're traveling. When you have this lined up and the arrow, then you will just follow the arrow in the direction of the travel that you want to go. 
So let me show you kind of how that would work. All right, guys. So we're looking at the compass again, and we have the needle of the compass pointing north again. And we still have this arrow here. Remember, this arrow is the direction of travel. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk in that direction, the direction of the arrow, keeping our needle pointed north. All right. Now, uh, if you wanted to walk without just sitting here staring down at your compass so you're going to freaking trip and everything else, then um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to point this compass in the direction of a landmark. And then we will walk toward that landmark. And once we get to the landmark, then we will reposition our compass. Let me show you guys how I'm going to do this. All right. I have my compass with my needle pointed north and the line of travel is pointed toward the meter box that is right here. Okay, so what we need to do is walk toward that meter box. All right, so what I've done is I've walked probably about 10 feet um, because I'm doing this in a yard. I'm not really in the wilderness doing this um, because it's not really feasible today. I'm pretty busy. So what, what I've shown you is I've walked to the little box that's right over here just so that you guys can see that I've decided on a landmark and I followed that landmark. And what that does is it keeps me, one, from having to look down at the compass uh, every five seconds, and two, it allows me to uh, not walk in circles if I decide not to look at the compass. It's always best to follow a landmark. All right, so now that I've reached my landmark, I'm going to do the whole thing over again um, with the compass. The map is already done, and when you go a good distance, you'll want to look back at your map and get everything. Um, Re reposition because you're never going to get right into your location. All right, so now I'm going to look at the compass again. I'm going to get my needle pointed to where the north is um, that I've already adjusted, and then I'm going to follow the arrow from here. So we just every so often, once we get to our landmarks, we need to look at the compass, choose another landmark, and walk to that landmark. And then we will look at the compass, choose the landmark, and walk to that one again. I hope that you guys um, found this video informative. And um, remember, think critically and survive.